Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ingrid and this is Ingrid Reads A Lot. For today's video, we are talking about books that are coming out that I'm excited about. These are books that I just found on Goodreads that kind of piqued my interest. So I'm going to go over some books with you. I think I have about 12 books to talk about and I'm talking about books that are being released in March, April, and May. So let's get started because we have a lot. I'm going to have to consult my computer while we're talking just because I need to see the list of books. We're going to start with March 5th. First up, we have Fruit of the Dead by Rachel Leon. And this sounds like it is a contemporary novel, like a fiction, but based on the myth of Demeter and Persephone. And it does say that it has some horror elements, but it sounds like this girl, or I mean, she's probably like a young adult. Her name is Corey, and she is a camp counselor. She meets an older man, and he invites her to go to an island to take care of children. He's extremely rich, and I think all of that kind of appeals to her, and she decides to just go. But then we get her perspective, and we get the perspective of her mother, because her mother then hasn't heard for her, from her for a while, so she goes to search for her daughter. It just says, I'm gonna read you a little snippet of what the Goodreads blurb says and it just says, alternating between the two women's perspectives, late Rachel Leon's Fruit of the Dead incorporates its mythic inspiration. The result is a tale that explores love, control, obliteration, and America's own late capitalist mythos. Because it has like horror aspects, I'm really intrigued by this book and I gotta say that the cover of this kind of really caught me. Oh, I should also say that the guy that she starts working for is the CEO of a Fortune 500 com uh, pharmaceuticals company. That also kind of like caught my eye, but the cover is perfection and I'm gonna post the cover. And you know what? This is funny because this cover and another book I'm gonna talk to you guys about have that kind of like Greek-esque statue to it. So it's kind of funny that two books I picked have like the same sort of motif. Another book coming out on the fifth is Baby X by Kira Pekoff. This is a sci-fi thriller book and this is basically in the near future in the United States where anyone can biologically clone anyone from any little piece of biological material. So a lot of celebrities have to be really careful and even hire people to protect their DNA pretty much because they don't even know if they could have children like walking around the earth without them even knowing. This book follows Ember who is someone that was hired to protect a client and I think she ends up falling for the client and what ends up happening is is that one day they're kind of just hanging out and someone shows up to his door being like oh this is your child. So I'm not sure what's I don't know because she is Ember is 100% sure that she didn't let anything slip so I wonder if the guy like cheated on her I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on but this kind of really spoke to me the sci-fi elements of anyone can have your DNA is that's kind of like tricky but sounds really good and that also obviously came out on the 5th and then the last book that we have to talk about that is coming out on the 5th or came out on the 5th is called Thirst by Marina Yuzuk honestly guys I can't pronounce this and I apologize, but this is a horror vampire novel and it's, I believe, a Argentinian novel because it came out originally in 2020, but it's only coming out in the US or only came out in the US yesterday. And I think it's also sapphic because this woman, I think her mom is like terminally ill. She meets the vampire in a cemetery and I think they end up having a romance, but it says thirst plays with the boundaries of genre while exploring the limits of female agency, the consuming power of desire, and the fragile vitality of even the most immortal of creatures. And that just like really sold it to me. And that, this cover is the one that I was talking to you guys about that has sort of the Greek statue motif. I think this cover is really killing it. But I will say that a lot of the books that I picked, and it's obviously I looked at the list of all the books coming out, and a lot of the books that I got drawn to were the books with really cool covers because obviously I then read what the book was about and then I'm like, okay, this sounds good. But initially the cover of a lot of these books is what caught, caught me. So I, I must say a lot of these books have really nice covers, but this one especially and the Fruit of the Dead one were one of my favorites. And then next up on April 19th, we have Annie Bot by Sierra Greer. And this sounds like it's a novel about a relationship between a man and a robot 
that he bought to be in a relationship. He bought like to buy something, <laughs> not bought as in real what. That's confusing. That he bought to be his girlfriend or whatever. And I think the novel is about the bot her name is annie kind of coming into her own figuring out who she is and what her purpose in the world is and i think it's going to explore a lot of it, it does say here it explores a lot of questions of intimacy power autonomy and control because i think annie is just kind of confused if the man really loves her for her or because she ab does what he wants it sounds like so i'm really curious about this one too this sounds like it's gonna be more like it is sci-fi but more fiction than anything with all the themes that it's exploring but it sounds really good and this is another cover that i really really enjoyed and it's it's just so simple it's like pink and it has the bold black letters but i'm loving it i'm loving it and i don't know why i'm going i guess we'll make it about this video too of me like talking about the covers because I'm really enjoying that. And then last but not least, we have How to Solve Your Own Murder by Kristen Perrin. And this um, this is more of a fun mystery kind of book because the main, it says for fans of Knives Out and the Thursday Murder Club, which I don't think, I don't know what the Thursday Murder Club is, but I did watch Knives Out. It sounds like this woman was foretold of her death and she spends her entire life trying to figure out, like trying to stop her death, her murder. She's not successful because what, was foretold come to, comes to pass and then it's up to her niece i believe yes to catch the killer and uh the cover kind of like screams cozy mystery to me so i hope that's what it is i don't know for sure maybe it's like a very in-depth mystery but i kind of picked that one to like break up the seriousness of all the other books that i picked for this list next up we have the month of april and i have another one two three four five books and we're gonna start in order again April 2nd, I have two books. The first one is called Sociopath, a Memoir by Patrick pa Patrick Gagne. This is a nonfiction about someone that is diagnosed sociopath. And it sounds like it's going to be her revealing what that feels like. Because I think we have this misconception about what a sociopath is because of, you know, movies and TV shows and things like that. And I'm sure that the movies have it wrong about how the person actually feels. So I'm curious about that because I'm just curious about psychology in general and it just sounds like it will be very interesting. So I want to get to this memoir. And then next up we have a YA horror anthology and this is called The Black Girl Survives in this one by Desiree Evans. And we have a ton of authors in here that I enjoy. And to name a few, we have Justina Ireland, Tanana Reeve Du, Brittany Morris. So I'm just curious and all I saw on this is the cover because one, this cover is killing it. I loved the purple. I, I just love it. Everything about it. The first sentence in the blur is, be warned, dear reader, the black girl survives in this one. And I just, I just want to read it because that was, that's really good. Both come out April 2nd. I don't know if I said that because I keep forgetting to tell you when the books come out. Another one on April 2nd is She's Not Sorry by Mary Kabika. And this is a mystery thriller. And it just says it's an ICU nurse accidentally uncovers a patient's frightening past in this thrilling thriller. I have heard a ton about this author. I think she has a lot of books that people enjoy. I actually own one of her books, which... I can't seem to oh it's right there local woman missing I'm not gonna grab it because it's kind of far but I haven't read that one yet because the premise doesn't quite catch me that much even though a lot of people scream the praises of this book but this one sounds like it'll be a lot more up my alley because I like reading about nurses and some a nurse I don't know why I, I guess it's just like something that I gravitate towards like anytime I see that there's a nurse in the book I'm like I might I might read that. I hear a lot of good things about this author. Two books on April 9th. We have Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan. Check out this cover. It's just so funny. This is set in 1999 in a small Texas town where a family of women, I think there's three women or four, they have been running a funeral home for the past like years right like it's like generational you know home one night this woman comes in to be buried and she raises up and she's a strigoi they have to kind of figure out what to do and fight and it sounds like from the synopsis that they know that would like what strigoi are and so i don't know if this family is kind of like the van helsing family but it sounds like it'll be fun 
and I do need some fun because a lot of these books that I picked out are very serious. Yeah, I just love this cover too, even though it's like simplistic and kind of like what we've been getting a lot lately, which is like the cartoon-ish, but I really, really like it and I like the title. Bless your heart, which can mean a lot of things. I've, I've come to understand. Another book on April 9th is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo and me and Lee Bardugo don't have the best track record. I did enjoy Six of Crow, like the duology, and I enjoyed, what's the other one called? Oh my God, I can't see. What is it called? You guys know what I'm talking about. There's a TV show and everything. Shadow and Bone. That's what it's called, Shadow and Bone. I enjoyed both of those, but then I tried to read Ninth House and I did not, I did not that because I just could not care for it. And I think this is another adult fantasy, but it sounds like hopefully I will like it more. And this is a historical fiction also because it's set in Spain in the Spanish golden age. It sounds like the main character is from a lower social status and she works for someone who finds out she has gifts like magic gifts and she demands that she starts doing things for her and she ends up mixed up with the king of Spain because he finds out about her gifts also. So I kinda wanna read that. It sounds kinda good and I don't think Lee Bardugo has written anything like historical fiction so I'm, I'm curious how she does that because I do enjoy historical fiction once in a while so we'll see. Then we have one more work for April which is not Like Other Girls by Meredith Adamo and this comes out April 30th and this is a YA mystery, I think thriller. I kind of liked the themes in this book because it sounds like our main character, her name is Jo Lin, was ostracized by her group of friends because she had some nudes leaked and everyone shunned her and so her former best friend Maddie comes to her saying she needs help and Jolyn thinks it's all a joke but then Maddie goes missing. Jolyn goes on like a quest to find out what happened to her ex-best friend. It just says here at the end, like the very end on the blurb it says, not like other girls is a stunning debut that takes a hard look at how we treat young women and their trauma through the lens of a missing girl and a girl trying to find herself again. And that just sounds like something I would like to read. But yeah, that one is April 30th. And then we only have two books for May and they both come out on May 14th. First up we have When Among Crows by Veronica Roth. Veronica Roth is the author of the Divergent series and I have never read anything else by her. I really enjoyed Divergent when I read it. I don't know if I read it when it first came out. I'm not sure. It, I must have because it was around uh, the same time that Hunger Games came out and I was eating up anything and everything that was dystopian at the time. <laughs> But this is a novella, which is definitely different for her, at least for what I know of her. And it sounds like Dimitri is our, our main character. And it says, Pain is Dimitri's calling. To slay the monsters he's been raised to kill, he had to split his soul in half to make a sword for his own spine. Every time he draws it, he gets blood on his hands. And this reminded me of, what is it called? Nettle and Bone. Because it sounds very mystical, even for fantasy, like the fact that he has to make a sword out of his bones. I don't know, maybe because we had Bone Dog in Nettle and Bone, but it reminded me of that. And also it's a novella. So I think that's why I related the two. I don't think they have anything to do with each other, but I want to give it a go to see because I know that Veronica Roth has written other things that haven't, I think, been quite as popular as her Divergent series. I'm going to give this a go and see if I enjoy it. And it's a novella, so if I don't, it's okay. It's small. Lastly, we have The Dangerous Ones by Lauren Blackwood. And this sounds like I'm going to enjoy it. It sounds like very much standard YA fantasy but it's set in 16, it's set in 1863 during the American Civil War and it has vampires and people with demigod-like abilities. Like, why hasn't anyone thought of this before? Because as soon as I read that, I wanted to read it. it sounds like our main character, her name is Jerusalem and she's a saint. Thanks to a powerful like demigod reflexes, endurance and strength, she's fearless. I mean, I didn't really read anything else about it, but I want to. Also historical fiction, also fantasy, so a lot of like genre blending, which I think I've come to enjoy a lot more lately, and I'm excited. And I already said this, right? May 14th. Those are the only two books I have for May. And I think it's because the closer you get to the months, I feel like more books get added for some reason. Like, I don't think all these books are planned out <laughs> very much in advance. So I feel like I will have more books for May, but so far these are the only two that have caught my interest. But 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've already talked for long enough, but these are just some of the books that I have on my radar and I hope to give you some books to be on your radar. And I also apologize to your bank account because if you buy these books, then I'm just adding to the problem, but you can also get them for your, from your library. So don't get mad at me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some books that you're interested in and let me know anything that you guys are interested in that's coming out in, the, in these months that I talked about. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Goodbye.